This chair makes so much... This chair makes so much noise, I don't know if I can use it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are finally back after basically a month of not posting a main YouTube video channel. I have finally come back. The only reason why I was gone for so long, it was because... Well, I ran out of ideas of what to film, and honestly, I was not motivated. But also, I was sick for like a lot of the time last month, so I just couldn't film, basically, at all, because I was just dying from being sick. But we are back, and we are going to be doing a book recommendation video today, because I do these videos on TikTok a lot, so I kind of want to transition them to YouTube, so yeah. But today's video we are going to be doing the grumpy sunshine trope. This is like one of my favorite tropes. I think it's the cutest every time. Yeah, I also love reverse grumpy sunshine but we're just going to do the regular grumpy sunshine. Let's get started. So the first book we have is Heartless by LZ Silver. This is a part of the Chestnut Spring series and I adore the series. Like. This series is so good if you have not read it. It's like a small town cowboy romance. It's set in Alberta, I'm pretty sure. Basically, we have our main character, Cade. Cade is a single dad and he has a son. And basically, Cade just needs a nanny, someone to take care of his son while he's busy doing other things because, you know, being a single parent is really hard. He gets recommended Willa who is our main female character and she is the best friend of the last character, Summer, that was in the first book called Flawless, which you should also read because that was amazing. She becomes the nanny for his son and they kind of like, you know, bond over. He is a little bit grumpy in the beginning and she is very like wild. They're very much different. There is an age gap between them as well. So yeah, I really liked it. Um, I think it's one of the best Grumpy Sunshine books and also Single Dad books if you like that. Next we have is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I feel like this is kind of the standard Grumpy Sunshine book for just book talk in general. Like this book is the definition of Grumpy Sunshine. We have our main character Alex and our main other main character Ava who is the sister of Josh who is in Twisted Hate. Basically they it's like a brother's best friend Grumpy Sunshine. Okay, the premise is that basically I think Josh he goes somewhere and Alex decides to babysit his house. I'm pretty sure. I could totally be wrong but I read this so long ago but I'm pretty sure that he becomes her neighbor basically because Josh and Ava I think just live next door to one another and you know he just becomes obsessed but he knows he can't be with her but he wants to be with her and Ava has a troubling past that she can't get away from and secrets are unfold and stuff like that it's really good I really liked it except for one part of the book that happens I didn't really like but overall the series is amazing like yeah, I just love it. <laughs> Next we have is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This is such a staple for book talk as well because obviously this is like one of the few books that started. Look at the cover, it's adorable. We have Olive and Adam. Adam is our obviously grumpy professor and Olive is our PhD candidate student, whatever. They start fake dating like that is the second trope in this book that they're fake dating. I think this is one of the best books besides Love Theoretically that Ali Hazelwood has published because obviously Olive and Adam are just the cutest best couple in the world. Next we have is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I love Lucy Score books. They are amazing and I love Things We Never Got Over. She is thick. Keep in mind. She is gigantic that was kind of what that made me want to read her books because they're so big but I'm so glad I did because I just loved it we have our two main characters Knox and Naomi Knox is our grumpy Naomi is kind of our sunshine and it's a small town romance I think I don't think it's age gap I think they're both around the same age which is good and so basically 
Naomi has this twin sister who kind of wronged the town with a certain few people, especially Knox. Naomi is a runaway bride. Naomi's sister left a child in the process of it. So basically Naomi is kind of just like stuck in this town with this child that she doesn't know and this man that she hates very much. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Next we have is another Anna Huang and it's part of the Twisted series as well. It's Twisted Lies and yeah, this is one of the newer releases because Twisted Love came out first, but we have Christian and Stella. Christian is this, I think he's a millionaire, I'm pretty sure. He's a millionaire. He has um, a security company. One day Stella and, Stella and someone, I don't remember who, Stella and there was someone else that wanted to get an apartment and then, you know, they couldn't pay it, but Christian was willing to pay like half the price or something. So yeah, because he low-key becomes obsessed with her and he's very much grumpy. She's very much sunshine because she's kind of like a social media influencer and they start fake dating as well in this book. I loved it. Yeah, the Twisted series is just like one of the best series in the world. If you were to read any series that I recommend is the Twisted series for sure. So yeah. And lastly, we have Archer's Voice. This is also another small town romance. I realize most of these are small town romance. For like some of these books like this is my third one in this video that this is a small town romance which is insane but basically Archer's Voice this book oh it's so I went through so many emotions like I swear to god we have our main character Archer then we have Brie as well who comes into this small town and then she meets Archer but he's kind of known as the person who doesn't like talk in the town and everyone's like why you know and she's curious so that she kind of slowly starts befriending him and then she realizes the truth of why he doesn't talk and it's just it's so romantic it's so emotional it just grabs you i just love this book so much archer is amazing i just love him so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed i know this is a pretty short video but i just wanted to do like a small video to come back into youtube and also think just doing book recommendation videos are just super fun and super easy i am planning on filming a couple of reading vlogs hopefully soon for specific books specifically twilight which i have posted a tiktok about so hopefully that I, that will continue at some point i don't know when but I will be reading it and I hope you guys enjoy and have a great rest of the week. Bye!